Yeah, so till now we discussed about the first one. Now, some scientific proofs I will show you. Yeah, see here, when a person dies, like here, old lady has died, all the family members are coming and crying. So they, are, they all are saying, oh, he has passed away or she has passed away. Now, who has passed away? You know, the body is still very much there. Uh, the soul has passed away out of the body. Although they see the same person, they all understand from every important person in the body has left the body, the soul. It's a common sense thing. Like you see, the, the man and the woman, when they see a rose and appreciate, uh, uh, or when they see nature and appreciate, they see the morning rising sun, that is different. Whereas the dead matter, you can actually make a computer uh, or a sensor say that I see red light. It is basically programming. You can even make your computer say good morning. If you program it to say good morning, even when you return from abroad in the night, the computer will say good morning. It will say <laughs> that's the only thing it knows. <laughs> so these are all like object identification machine. They all just mechanically do what you input into them. So, therefore, sometimes you may be fascinated by AI, isn't it? Artificial intelligence. Uh, because you see, automobile problems can be troubleshooted by artificial intelligence, uh, you know, devices. Similarly, AI does many things, but actually, what is AI if you see? Some of you in the field of computer science, you will know very well. Uh, a group of 20, 25 automobile engineers sit together and they all give their best of their know-how put it on the table and they assemble everything together and feed it into the computer. So I will not agree the word AI, I will call it BI, which means borrowed intelligence. Don't call it artificial intelligence. It is simply borrowed from experts. And the same is true for the chess playing also. So machine can't do all these things. They practically man gives input and based on the input, the machine functions. So therefore, the man is a conscious entity. Even if you drive a, you know, automated car. Behind that automated car, there is a conscious living person who is actually controlling that car.